Today, while working on a project at work, I discovered a very interesting thing that I didn't know before, and it is how to get outlines of text in After Effects. I thought it was very cool, and I'd like to share the process. So let me go straight up, create a new composition, add a new text layer, add something default as a string, and I will go at the channel group of effects and choose Minimax. Now I'm going to switch the operation to minimum and increase the radius. What it's going to do is erode the text so it gets a bit thinner. I'm going back to the channels effects and this time choose solid composite. What it will do is composite a solid layer, a color basically, and put it behind our working layer. Then I will choose CC composite and mix these effects together choosing a difference applying mode and then again to the channels effect this time choosing the channel combiner which will basically take the maximum RGB in this case the white color and shuffle it to the alpha channel of our layer. Now this effect can be turned on and off by changing the source opacity value from 100 to 0. And what I'm going to do next is automate this process using some expressions. I will add this expression checkbox and add an expression pressing the Alt button on the keyboard while clicking on the opacity channel of the solid composite effect. And I'm going to pick whip directly to the field outline checkbox. This will give me a value from 0 to 1, which I'm going to multiply by 100. So now I can easily toggle on and off the effect using this checkbox. I'm going to further automate this effect by using an expression based on time, which will let me toggle on and off the effect based, as I said, on time. I'm going to put an expression on the checkbox itself, and the expression goes like this. Math.floor will convert the result of this expression into an integer number, and I'm going to convert the time into frames by multiplying it with 25, which is the number of frames per second. And we divide this by the interval in frames. This is my second attempt to record this right. Math.floor will convert the result of this expression into an integer number. Dividing my frames number by the interval in frames, and I am getting a modulo of 2. So the modulo is the remainder from a division operation in math. So each time the remainder of a division by 2 is 0, the effect will switch either on or off. It's easier for you to see than it is for me to try to explain it. Let me preview this effect. And as you see, every 25 frames, the effect will switch either on or off. I can try to give the interval in frames a different value, for example, 10 frames. And now this effect is switched every 10 frames. Let me now experiment further on and put an expression on the text field so I can build a simple timer. I will divide 
the number of frames by the interval in frames and get an integer number out of this division by using math.floor as you see the numbers go up but at each odd number we don't get the text but rather the outline of the text I'm going to experiment further on and this time I'm going to build a list of text instead of integer numbers I'm going to build a list with with strings that represent each a different number from 1 to 10 and what I'm attempting to do is build a countdown that shows up the words representing the numbers rather than the numbers themselves I'm cutting this whole expression and outputting each time only one of the words in this list that I built but the time in the timeline is greater than 10 seconds which is the number of the words that I have in this list of strings so I'm gonna put a modulo with the value of the length of this list so each time the division of the frames by the interval in frames is greater than the length of the list the list will start from the beginning this is what I was so excited to share with you I hope this is something that makes you think of other ways you can put this effect to good use thank you for watching and I hope I'll be back for other short and some not so short video tutorials and this time about Cinema 4D which is my other passion in life like the video and share the knowledge bye